Hey there, this is Angela Christine, and I'm here to give you another um, tutorial on how to get the look. Have you ever waken up in the morning, you just take your bonnet off, and you're trying to preserve your curls, similar to like what I have today, and then you notice one side is curly and the other side is like blah. So, I mean, that's basically what just happened. I did my makeup this morning. I thought my curls were going to be cool. It's been a few days, but I didn't expect this side to be looking all perfect and together. And this side just, it's not doing what I needed to. Well, you know, there's an alternative. Instead of curling your hair over again, I would recommend giving yourself more of a chic kind of, um, you know, look where you can basically just do a French twist and pull one side to the side and then let the right side, the prettier side, shine on its own. So that's what I'm going to do today because I don't have hardly any time. So I'm going to basically show you guys how to achieve a French twist um, look with just one strand twist and we'll just pin it and we'll be good to go. Basically, I'm just gonna use um, a bobby pin and a few hair pins and it's just a really quick, simple look. You really don't need any product as long as your hair is moisturized. I'll use a little bit of um, light serum just to bring everything together. Um, and then I'll use my little fine tooth comb comb it on down and I'll start twisting so basically you want to start right at the root front part of your hair and you want to twist backwards and basically set the tone for the shape of the twist now I'm just doing a single strand twist so I'm just pulling hair and turning it backwards and turning it backwards as I go now I'm going to loosen it up just a little bit so it doesn't look so tight around my hairline and my face And now I'm still just twisting as I go, twisting it around. And I'm picking up hairs, making sure that they're all pulled in together as I twist. So, you know, you want to make sure you're placing it exactly where you want it to go. Um, and if you have a few stray hairs, it's fine, you know, it's not that big of a deal. So you do want it to be perfect, but you really just want to establish a look. And it doesn't have to be picture precise perfect, but, you know, you want it to be neat so that throughout your day it's not looking crazy. Now I'm going at the furthest point of my hairline because I want to basically um, cover up everything. I don't have very much of my natural hair out. So um, I'm using what I have, and I loosened it up some, just a tad bit, so it wouldn't um, look so tight around my face, like I said. And as soon as I get to the very middle of my head, I'm going to measure from here and just go on back. Yep, I'm at the middle. As you can see, I have my twist all the way here. I'm going to take a bobby pin. I'm going to open up the bobby pin and I'm going to grab hair and poke in the opposite direction of the way the twist is going. This is basically going to stop the twist from moving or it's going to keep it in place. So you make sure you get that stable and sturdy and you know you really only need one or two pins. I basically achieved it with one but if your placement isn't the greatest then you can use more. So just to kind of reassure myself that I have my style in place I'm going to go ahead and add a few more in here um, of open pins, hair pins. So I did three all together. Now, if you poke yourself, I would recommend you repositioning the, the bobby pin before, you know, it starts to hurt too badly because you could be puncturing your scalp. And you don't want to um, put any abrasions on your scalp that could add to anything in the future. So if it hurts, take it out. Um, and then if you have any stray hairs, you can always go back through it with another open pin. And you just hook the hair find where the stray hair is, hook it and push it down into the style. And that helps that. So now we're all done. I'm going to use a little bit of pomade. And I'm basically just going to stroke that on my hair and make sure that the top is nice and smooth and soft. And you can use a little pomade, preferably something with some shine and some moisture to it. 
And now the side that is doing what it needs to do can stand alone. And the side that wasn't really living up to this responsibility can sit backwards. And you have a totally different style. It's something really easy. This is what I like to call the quick fix. So if you have any questions on how to achieve this style, I also recommend a braid or a double strand twist on the side. If you're good with doing it yourself, you can achieve that look too and it'll be really fly with your look. Um, make sure you holler at me for the next tutorial. My name again is Angela Christine. Follow me on Twitter at Angela C. Styles, Instagram and Facebook. And make sure you subscribe to my YouTube channel. Thank you. Take care.